Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we're gonna talk about uh, Proxmox subscription and update repositories. So are you ready? Let's get started. So even if you are not using a Proxmox subscription or need support ticket for a subscription period, it's good it's good actually to know about these and update repositories configuration. So without a subscription you will encounter errors with the update process attempting to connect to the default configured enterprise update repositories. Okay? So actually currently Proxmox offers four subscription plans, okay? So these plans are actually community subscription, basic subscription and standard subscription and finally you can find premium subscription, okay? So each one has some actually support, update, features and use cases, okay? So for example, for the community subscription for this uh, kind of subscription the support does not include access to enterprise support team okay but for the updates access to the enterprise software repository which include updates that have been tested and vetted for production use are actually available okay and for the features it has access to the complete feature set so this kind of subscription is actually ideal for hobbyist testers organization that do not require immediate or direct support okay so if you want to take a look at these actually plans and the advantage of each one you will find them in the description of this video okay and now I'm going to show you how to view and change the update repositories, okay? So if you open your Proxmox and you go to your node, so here for my example here, I'm on the node Proxmox 01, you actually go to the section called updates, as you can see here, and underneath it, you will find the repositories, okay? So if I click on this repositories, you get this message. The enterprise repository is enabled, but there is no active subscription, okay? So here you can see, actually the enterprise repositories are configured by default for both Proxmox cores update and Ceph. So these are the two at the bottom that you see now okay here in this window so it's important here to note that proxmox is pointed to the enterprise repositories out of the box by default so the issue with this is is that if you want to make sure you have the latest updates for the proxmox you will see actually some errors okay so if I go, for example, to the shell here of my Proxmox node, and if I execute the command up, update in order to update the repositories, I will get actually some errors, as you can see here with the red capital E, okay? So the errors aren't very intuitive by result but actually they result from being pointed to the enterprise repositories without a subscription, okay? But you can actually easily change the update repositories configuration on the repositories configuration screen. So you can turn off the enterprise update repositories and point our Proxmox server to the community repositories, okay? So first we need to disable the enterprise repository. So I will return back to my uh, actually repositories here. 
and I will point to this uh, here to this uh, link here actually which is the enterprise proxmox ceph quincy so i will click on it and i will disable it so i will click on this button here in order to disable this repository actually okay and i will do the same for the repository which is at the bottom actually so i will click on it and i will disable it okay so now all the enterprise repositories are disabled so now we can proceed and add no enterprise repositories so no subscription updates okay so in order to do that it's pretty easy all you have to do is to click on this button here add and i will add actually the no subscription repository here so this one here so as you can see on the description this is the recommended repository for testing and no production use but i will add it okay and also it's good to add the ceph ref no subscription repository even if you are not using ceph so i will click once again on this button here and this time i will choose this one ceph ref no subscription and also for the description you can see this repository holds the proxmox ceph ref packages intended for no production use and status of course it's not configured yet so what i will add it and here we go now on the screen you see the two repositories that we have actually added to our list of repositories and we are done okay so in order to actually launch updates we can run updates from the command line but we can also check and run updates from the web GUI as you can see here so in order to run updates you can use it on the command line but you can also use them from the web GUI so in order to do that check for updates you click on this update here and you click on this button here refresh okay so you run a refresh and you get actually uh, here we have command that actually felt with exit code 100 because this sefref bookmark is not signed but this is not a problem okay we can actually disable it the same manner so we click on this link here and we disable the sefref no subscription repository now if we return back to our updates and we run a refresh in order to refresh the package list we get task is okay so we have successfully updated all our repositories so this is actually the method that you want to use in order to update your list of repositories okay so to summarize everything proxmox offers several subscription plans that provide support and stable enterprise updates for organizations and small businesses that want to use proxmox for their virtualization stack okay but there is a very important uh, actually not is that currently there is a gap in coverage for enterprise organizations that may need 24 7 support so this 24 7 support does not exist okay so if you want to update proxmox without support subscription you must point to the no enterprise update repositories for installing the latest available patches okay so that was just a brief video to talk about actually uh, proxmox subscriptions and update repositories so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like or comment as always i hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.